Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at my wolf and we're also going to uh, I'm going to show how to export from Blender to Unity. So I'm going to show how to export a character from Blender to Unity. And this is just how I do it. Um, other people could do it differently. There are other ways you could do it. So this is just how I do it. I tend to do it. Um, so here's my wolf. And if anybody wants to um, purchase my wolf for their game, here it is. Um, he comes in different coats and all kinds of animation. So um back to the tutorial here um it's not really a tutorial i'm just kind of showing what i do here and how i export it so i guess it is a tutorial <laughs> um so this wolf if i'm selecting his mesh here uh he also has a bunch of blend shapes so um you know make him growl and stuff so you know i'm showing a full character with blend shapes and everything you know, his skeleton, and I'll show you the animation. I think there was some confusion here, too, how you would set up your animation. So, on the left here, we have the dope sheet. Okay, so a lot of people are familiar with dope sheet, but what they might not be familiar with is the action editor. Okay, the action editor is where you put all that animation. Okay, so every animation you want to put in the file, in the FBX that you upload, is going to be in the action editor, just like this. And um, to create a new one, you would just hit the X, you know, you'd have a new palette, you'd rename it. Always check this F, if you look. These all have little Fs next to it. That means it's saved within this file. And so every animation that's in this list will be in your FBX file. So every, um, I'll just show kind of quick one. Um, why don't I have fur on him? Okay, there we go. And so, yeah, so every one of these animations are in that FBX. Okay, so let's go back to the default. So that's where the animation is. So let's go back to the default. And I want to export. Well, before we do that, just real quick here. I always like to export with whatever the character is on his def with his default. Here I say action, but I usually put like whatever default. And that's my default pose that I always export in. Okay, so I have the rig. I want to turn that to object. I want to select the wolf. I don't remember if the eyes were separate. Probably not. We'll see. Because um, I did this quite a while ago. So select the wolf, the mesh, then the rig. Now we're going to export this. Export FBX. Um, and of course I have tons of versions that I did uh, and in the settings so here is where we get tricky now I encourage people to play around and try different settings but I'm gonna show you what always works for me I go the S I use the S key selected objects Scale 1, this is going to end up being wrong, though. Okay, but I'll show you that. Um, and these defaults are fine. Um, select uh, Armature and Mesh here. Um, these are all fine. You don't technically need that default there. Um, you could select only Deformed Bones. Um, and that looks good to me. So let's call this Unity, Wolf Unity, um, Toot FBX. Okay. And, okay, I know where it is. 
Okay, so now we've exported it. So now we're going to go into Unity. Now I have Unity opened up here. I'm going to create a new package. A new project, I mean. Um, we'll call this Wolf Toot. Um, that looks good to me. 3D. Create project. So here we have a scene, and I need um, some kind of ground. So there we go. And here we have our project, our assets. So I need uh, to import this toot FBX. Just like that. And everything is in there. So let's look at him. Now here's the trick. I told you scale was going to be screwed up. Scale needs to be set to 100 for this to work with, you know, a, a normal scale. So apply that. Set that to 100 and apply that. And then drag him in. There he is. And if we look at him, we look at the mesh, we have all the blend shapes. Okay. We can do whatever we want with those. And we look at the rig. We have a generic rig. So now we're selected on the wolf here. With all the animation that's in there. So I can select each one of these animations. Do whatever I want to them in here. But that's um, a look at exporting from Blender to Unity. Have a good one, everyone.